thought I'd go ahead and film a little haul on some items that I've been getting a lot of questions and um, inquiries on on Instagram. Um, some newer items that people kind of want to see some swatches and what they look like and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and haul those for you guys. And then too, I have some vlog footage. You guys have been asking about some more horse vlog type ranchy, farmy stuff. <laughs> and I do have some. Some of it's a little bit older, older, some of it's newer, and I'll put it um, at the end of the video. So if you're interested in that, it will be there for you. So let's just jump into uh, these products. This first one is a new palette by Clinique. It is called A Black Honey Affair All About Shadow Palette. And this is what the box looks like. And um, I think the Clinique, the new reformulated Clin Clinique eyeshadows are really... Um, they're easy to work with, um, they're not overly done, they're not too less of anything, they're just an, an all around kind of great wearable shadow in my opinion. Um, I have the Neutral Territory 2, is it called? The Neutral Territory 2, yeah, palette which I'll compare them with you guys. Um, but let's get into this one and I'll show you guys some swatches of it. It's called the Black Honey Wardrobe, yeah. And I purchased this one off of Sephora. So this is what it looks like. Inside there's um, 0.41 ounces of product, so that divided by 8 would be <laughs> how much you're getting per shadow. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Right there. Give you guys some live swatches here. Right there. I b yeah, I believe, um, let's see here. You've got sugarcane, hazy, black honey, and then this one right here is lucky penny. So that is those four. And then you have um, these next four. This one is called dark brown shade of morning java quad. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's a, a shadow from one of their quads. And then you have purple uh, plums. Lavender Out Loud, and the last one here is Graphite. So, that is what those ones look like. Really pretty. I have not worn it yet. That is what it looks like next to the Neutral Territory 2, which is on top. There are four duplicate shades in the other one. Uh, Sugar Cane, Hazy, Black Honey, and Dark Brown Shade of Morning Java Quad <laughs> is um, duplicate shades. So you can see like um, these three, I believe, and then the lightest shade over here. Those are duplicate shades between the two. So, you know, if you're not into the purples, you could totally pass on the Black Honey Wardrobe. I'm into purples, so <laughs> so there are those. And then I think Macy's went ahead and jumped the gun on some new Too Faced holiday stuff, which I just had to have because their packaging is really reminiscent of some of their older stuff that's like really cute and pretty. <laughs> so I picked up um, the two palettes, I guess you could say, and then I did go back and order the, the lipsticks that they had. I thought that they were just permanent lipsticks, but upon further inspection, <laughs> I saw that um, the names were from permanent shades, but they were newer limited edition shimmers. I haven't gotten those yet, so I'll have to fill you in on that. But So this first little uh, palette kit is called the Beauty Wishes and Sweet Kisses, and it comes in a box like this. Everything that's in here, the face products and the shadows, are from um, their permanent range. The three shadows are actually from their most popular shades in the Chocolate Bar palette. Um, but there is a new La Creme lip gloss. That the I guess it's a new product that Too Faced is introducing in this, which is launching in the spring of 2015, and that's in the shade Naked Dolly. So um, there's a little look card in here as well. This is what the palette looks like. Like, is that not the cutest? And it is a tin uh, packaging as well. So that is what that looks like. I just think it is so so cute. And then inside of here, you've got uh, three shadows. You've got uh, white chocolate, creme brulee. And then the dark one over here is hot chocolate. And then you have got chocolate soleil bronzer and snow bunny bronzer. And then here's the lip gloss, which I'll I'll swatch that for you guys in a minute. So this here's a matte, and the other two are, I believe are shimmers. Right there.
And then the face products look like that. And this is what the lip gloss looks like right here. So just a um I don't know, it's it's semi pigmented but it's not like overly done so. But it's got some pigment to it, just a nude lip gloss. And this does smell like um it smells like cinnamon. A, a hair of peppermint but mostly cinnamon. So this next thing is just totally cool to me. <laughs> it is um this is what it, the container that it came in looks like. It's also very very cute and it is called I believe Where's the name? The name is on the little thing here. Um, La Belle Carousel. Too Faced La Belle Carousel. And this is what the inside looks like. Or the thing that's inside of the packaging here, which it, it's just cool. It's just really cool. It like pops out and comes out of this little situation here. Inside you have got three eyeshadow palettes, two face palettes, and then a Better Than Sex Mascara. And I know that the... Um, the blushes and the bronzers in here and the mascara are all permanent. Um, as far as the shadows are concerned, um, I don't know which ones are new or not. Because like Too Faced, they'll have some of the same shadows, like same exact shadow colors in some of their palettes, but they'll change the names. So um, I'm not sure. Nude Beach, some of them sound familiar, which you guys might feel sound familiar too, but some of them sound really new to me. So let's just let's just, let me let me show you this. It's so cool. So. You have this little top thing that's all glittery like that, and then the bottom, and then this is what the little deals look like. Right here. This, of course, the carousel horse. I had to have it. <laughs> this is what it looks like right here. And then, then you have got the Better Than Sex mascara, which, it's a nice mascara. Um, after a while it will uh, flake on me. But other than that, I mean, it does nice volume and length and stuff like that. But anyways, this here little top pops off like this. And then each one of these palettes comes off the um, the bottom tray here. So let me show you these palettes. Inside of, of this here, there's also a look card um, thing, like, again, like Too Faced likes to do. And if you wanted to give these away for a present or something like that, on the back it says to and from on the back of the little, um, each individual little palette. So uh, they don't have any specific names. So this first one is a neutral palette, I guess. I believe, I think all the that palettes with the, the uh, carousel horse on there are eyeshadow palettes, but these are the shades right here. You guys can read those. Hot chocolate probably is in the chocolate bar palette, but so those, are, those are those. Swatch these. I haven't even, I haven't even touched this yet. Some pretty neutrals, right? Oh, you'll never see that creamy matte, but there's those. Then you have the mascara, and it's just a little mascara in there. It's not a full-size one. There's that. And then here is another shadow palette right here. Hopefully you guys can read those uh, names there. Swatch these. This top one, the top one and both of these are mattes so far. Right there. And here is the third um, shadow palette in there. Right here. Go ahead and swatch them. This one is all shimmery, this palette. Oh, pretty. I'm so excited about this this stuff. Holidays are gonna get me for sure this year, I can already tell. <laughs> pretty. And then these last two are blush bronzer duos right here. It says Labelle La Belle Carousel on there. And then you've got, what do you have? Who's your poppy and chocolate soleil in this one? There we go. And then the last one is another blush bronzer duo here. 
And these ones are, what are they called? Uh, Luminous Peach and Sun Bunny Dark. So this must be the dark strip of the Sun Bunny uh, bronzer. Which is kind of interesting, I guess. I've never seen that before. Right there. Ooh. Those are pretty. That peach is really pretty. Now, if you're interested in seeing some uh, vloggage, we will get into it right now. Say hi, Cruiser. <laughs> we just planted this tree right here. It's a lilac, well, lilac bush, I suppose. I mean, Cruiser did, huh, Cruiser? Now I'm gonna go down here, look at this rainstorm just kinda came and went, but head to the barn now. And this tree horse was loose in the middle because she busted my... She... She break the... Thing. The green one? Busted my clip. Oh. I had to teach them to stay tied up. Look at that. Is that a hoof right there? What? Look at, look at that big piece of hoof right there. Yep, broke off. Somebody's. I didn't see anybody. What are you doing, sons of guns? And then after everybody's taught to be tied up, then they get turned out into this green pasture here. So these guys were all in the barn. These are the babies you guys saw in some videos last spring and summer. And there's Maverick right there. He's just calm and laid back, so he's gonna kind of keep these guys from being a little haywire out in the pasture. So he just keeps things all nice and calm in here. Huh, Maverick? <laughs> he's such a pretty boy. So these guys here, they now know how to stay tied up, these two girls. So they'll get turned out here in the morning because it's a little bit too late in the evening to turn them out right now because if it gets um, dark, then they can't explore the whole pasture. They won't be able to see the fence line in the dark. So that's why we tied some, made some, uh, recycled some Walmart bags over there and tied it up on the barbed wire or the fence line there so, so that they can see it in the morning when they get turned out. Check out these skies. They're sketchy. <laughs> There's been like two tornadoes that touched down just uh, border South Dakota, South Dakota-ish in the past two days and it's scary so that looks kind of scary over there <laughs> back that way these guys here are my gildings and they're like feed me feed me feed me feed me hi guys since the weather looks so scary outside I'm going to grab one of these square bales here and I'm going to feed it to those, my boys, my geldings that are outside. Because if it gets scary, I don't want them out there eating. I want them in here eating their hay. So I gotta grab one of these here. Square bales, which <laughs> uh, we had to, um, I tell you what, hauling square bales in 90 degree heat. Like these are, this is hay from uh, last summer. Oh my gosh. And it's humid. It's all get out. You want to talk about sweating out there. I tell you. <laughs> 400 square bales later, boy, I tell you, that'll whip you right into shape. <laughs> Split it up into three little sections for them. I'll go, go outside and show them it's in here because they don't know they're expecting me to be pitching them hay outside right now off that round bale. Boys! Come on! Come on, boys! Come on! See these boys here, they're just like one horse. <laughs> T 
two horse. Three horse. Alright, walk right in. <laughs> Come on. She's nice. You guys want to see my outfit of the day? I have my horseshoe nail cross on. An old Leonard Skinner t shirt. Old uh, sweatshirt. Um, old American Eagle pants. With major holes. I call it air conditioning. <laughs> and some boots. I have dirt in my nails because I just planted a tree and I don't like to use gloves. Look at this guy. See how he acts all the time. My cruiser. You guys want to know a terrible story that just happened? There is black dirt, long haired German Shepherd. I don't know where she's at right now, but it was just trimming some hairballs off her because she actually needs to be shaved and we're gonna have to do that shortly anyway so she was laying on the ground and we we're cutting off these hairballs and I don't have my glasses on we were down by the, the round bale down there by the corral and <laughs> I saw something gray run next to me and it freaked me out because I thought it was a mouse and so I, I jumped up and let Jixer go and it was a baby rabbit and she Jixer the dog she grabbed that rabbit and just ate it and the legs were hanging out wiggling and everything and I feel horrible I didn't know what to do but there's like wild rabbits all over the place around here and Diesel this guy he's guilty of rabbit eating as well but anyway I feel really bad I thought it was a mouse and not a not a uh, <laughs> give me that I thought it was a mouse and not a baby rabbit I feel terrible Jake, Cruiser give me this here you little nerd let go let go don't, don't bite him. Diesel took off with your toy, Sonny. Go get it. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> he won't get it. Diesel won't give it to him now. But Anyway. Come over here. Come on. Now sit down. Sit down. Show the folks. Come here. Shake now. Shake. Oh, <laughs> such a good little boy. Nice to meet you, son. <laughs> Can you do the other one? Sit. Sit. Shake. Shake. Oh, thanks so much, Sonny. You're such a good son. Speaking of son. <laughs> Sit down, Cruiser. Sit. There you go. Look at him. What a poser. <laughs>